Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate that. Um, it is truly an honor to be here uh, back in the Southwest region, um, seeing everybody and celebrating uh, everything that Andrew just mentioned, but especially all of the achievements that each of you are here um, to be awarded for. So um, I'm actually able to, uh, proud to present three different Archie League awards uh, tonight. Um, two of them are from 2020. And the first one is uh, out of one of our facilities uh, in Wichita, Kansas, Wichita Tower. Our members at Wichita are a tight-knit team. They are experienced, focused, work very well together. They have to be on their toes because there are six airports and an Air Force base in their busy airspace. That includes three airports on the eastern side of the city lined up in a row. Two of them are only three miles apart, and that's Colonel James Jabara Airport and Beach Factory Airport. We as controllers are always aware of the possibility of wrong surface events, whether it's the wrong runway, wrong taxiway, or wrong airport, these events happen far too often. In just the last five years, there were more than 1,300 wrong surface arrivals and nearly 900 wrong surface departures. The principal cause of wrong surface operations is airport geometry with two or more air airports located in close proximity. This very thing happened in 2013 in Wichita when the crew of a 747 Dreamlifter cargo plane mistakenly landed at Colonel James Jabbar Airport instead of McConnell Air Force Base, which was off in the distance. It nearly happened again last year as well. But the terrific work of Wichita members Hunter Rubin, Dean Hittner, and James Smart stopped it and ensured a safe outcome. An inbound Cessna citation was coming in from the southeast on a clear day and was vectored for a visual approach into Colonel James Jabara Airport. Hunter was working the radar data position Dean was providing training to James on the radar east position. The pilot called the airport in sight from more than 20 miles away. James approved his request to switch to the common frequency and instructed him to remain clear of the Class Delta airspace at Beach Factory Airport. He also approved the takeoff clearance for a commercial flight at Beach. Suddenly, Hunter saw the data tag disappear. The citation was now rapidly descending to 2,000 feet, which was not normal to him at all. It was also deviating off course and pointing towards Beach Field. Here's what happened. Let's play the video. Counter 00 Charlie, contact Wichita Tower 118.2. Have a nice day. Over Tower 00 Charlie, talk to you soon. Okay, Charlie, thank you. Wichita Tower 118.2, contact Wichita Tower 118.2. Golf Coast 904 is released, Demix. Go, Mike. Beach Wichita, traffic about a mile south here. Uh, can't fly far with us. We told him to stay out of the Delta. Wichita. Yeah, Beach, your guy's on the go here at Beach. I canceled the uh, takeoff clearance on Gulf Coast, so this guy clears out. Okay. Uh, he is midfield on the go right now. I don't know who he is. Uh, he's a citation. He's telling me to outside the Class B. He was going into Jabbar, so. Yeah, he's heading over to Jabbar now, looks like. Yeah, he can't fly far. And, so. Okay, yep, he's turning away. Gulf Coast is going here in about a minute. Okay, he's released. Well, hey, Mix. It's tough, folks. We're test 5 3. He's really out of flight level 260 for 16,000. Direct Anthony A with a request. We're test 5 3. Which approach? Good afternoon, sir. Which altimeter? 3015, say request. Once we get the low class A, we would like to cancel and work a VFR to the west for about the 10 minutes prior to proceeding down. We test 53 or I drive lower than about 5 miles. Report the cancellation. Go with us, I do. We test 53 to send and maintain 10,000, 10,000. Descend 10,000. We're test 53. Hunter knew the situation wasn't feeling right to him, and he did what is expected of all Wichita controllers. If you see something, say something. Brothers and sisters, James and Dean were unable to attend this uh, afternoon, but Hunter Rubin is here 
Please welcome him as he accepts the 2020 Central Region Archie League Medal of Safety Award on behalf of himself and his two Wichita brothers. Did not know how to make a speech. So, <laughs> I don't think I can repeat what uh, they did over there um, in Anchorage. But yeah, it's, you know, if you see something, say something. You know, husbands, wives, there's a lot of co workers of each other. Listen to your husband, listen to your wife. Um, and that situation didn't show earlier, but uh, so I gotta give a lot of credit to Beach Tower because I think they listen to Jabbar's frequency as well. And so he might have said something as well, like, hey, you're going to the wrong airport. And I wasn't on any of the audio because I was actually at Radar Flight Data and I was probably coordinating with McConnell on some tankers releasing or amending their IFRs. But it's just in the corner of my eye, I just saw this citation tag and it went VFR. I'm like, oh, why is he VFR now? You know, he's pointed kind of towards beach, but then that rapid 2,500 to 2,000 turning north, that's when I was like, hey guys, he's not going where he's supposed to go. And that's when they got on the phone with beach said, hey, this guy's a mile south of you and beach probably reached out and said, hey, he's not where he's going. And it all fixed it, but yeah, if you see something, just say something, you know, you don't know, if you're a trainee, say something, yeah, he could be a 30 year vet, those guys were 30 years plus veterans, and they didn't see it, and I was four years in the agency at that point. So just see something, say something. 